Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long. Um, first of all, let me dim this down a little bit. It's probably a little bit too bright. So, I'm pretty sure I told you guys in a video a long time ago that I sold my camera and I had to use my camera phone, which I still am, but I don't have an iPhone no longer. I was never an iPhone person. No shade to those who have iPhones. I just like my Androids. I steered away from it a little, but now I'm back to it. So now I got the S10e. Only because I like flat screens, I never was never really a fan of the whole edge thing. Anywho, I'm still kind of a little sick. I still am a little phlegmy. I'm trying to get over that. And my lunch bag is in the background. Next. Anywho, so I'm pretty sure you guys can tell in today's video and um, the title. Yep. We are doing a face-off. Now, I don't know if anyone here on YouTube has, like, a thing called a face-off or whatever, but they do. I'm sorry, I haven't watched any other beauty YouTubers ever, really. Um, watch the main ones, like Tati, Jeffree Star, you know, those ones. I haven't seen any new people for a while because I've been stuck on those ones. I haven't really ventured off. And by the way, I really need to do my hair. I never realized how much roots I have. And by the way, I haven't done my hair since last year. So I really need to do it. And this is a lot of regrowth. This is like a one year of regrowth. Anywho, so we are going to do the face off. And this is between the Juno & Co microfiber sponge and then the super sponge. Yep. So they both claim that they will basically spread your foundation. You'll need to use a lot, of course. Um, the obvious difference is that this is a silicone coated sponge and this is basically a microfiber cloth or fabric um, over a sponge. Um, the only thing is that because this is silicone coated, the bottom is still a sponge, it's still bouncy. I do have my thoughts and opinions on these two. I have used them both um, with the Juno & Co. I feel that the top part because, now this is an old one, mind you. I know they have a new design and it's more catered toward the eye, more eye friendly. But I'm talking about this version, this style, I'm not a fan of it only because the edges they like they, they make they, they give me a line so if i was to use this part of the sponge under my eye it will still leave a line like this shape the outline right on my eye so i was never really fan of that and because of how this was it was never really like an egg shape and i went under my eyes it wouldn't really like smooth it out properly as i would like with like the original beauty blender with this, um, because it is silicone coated, it makes washing it a little bit difficult. You can't wash it the same way as you would a regular, not really much of a regular sponge, but like a typical sponge where you can just squeeze it, be rough with it. Because this is a silicone coated type of sponge, you have to be careful how you wash it. So it does come with a kind of um, like a scrub. But how you squeeze it out, you can't be like this, how you normally are with a sponge. You would have to squeeze it out from the bottom. Now, what I don't like about this is that you have to be careful. If you squeeze it too roughly, you will pop the silicone, as so they say, and it's not going to be the same anymore. And in my opinion, I think I probably popped the silicone because... Even when I squeeze it from the bottom here, there was still water coming out from the top. So that makes me believe that I kind of popped the silicone. It still works, but you have to be a little bit more gentler with this type of sponge. If you're the type of person that, that's a little rough with your sponges or just with your tools in general, you shouldn't be by the way. But if you are, I wouldn't recommend this for you because this does, you have to take your time with this when you're washing it and when you're basically um, squeezing out the water out of it so just take these two however you like they both work great in my opinion however it's just depending on your own preference but the real test is which one works the best 
They both claim that they spread out the foundation. You don't need that much, so we will check that out. And also, I just got my Jeffree Star concealer in the mail, so that's another excuse to kind of use it. Um, now, I've already used, um, I already used, I already put a primer on my face. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I actually just got back from work and I decided to record this video so I purposely took off my makeup so we can put more on. I'm going to put on my Blue Lagoon headband because I went to Iceland, in case you guys didn't know. I'm going to turn on the brightness on that a little bit and hopefully this works. So, I was debating what type of foundation to use. I did get a little darker, not as dark as I would have liked when I went to Florida, but a little darker. So, I doubt that I am this color, but maybe I am. Now, I did use a good primer today um, for the purpose of this video. I used the Terry Hyaluronic um, Matte Primer. Where'd it go? Yeah, the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Primer. This is a very good primer. Um, a little does go a long way. The only thing is that it's like almost $80 and that's before taxes. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't know, this is NARS Sheer Glow and I'm using Stromboli. That's usually my summer color because I tan. I like to get tan during the summertime. Because I only was able to tan, to actually tan for one day in Florida, I didn't get as dark as I would like. But I got significant help with the fox tan. If you guys don't know what that is, you are missing out. So, I don't care if this is not my color, that's not the purpose of this video. I'm going to use the Juno Unco on this side of my face. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm just probably going to zoom in a little bit. So... It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's definitely spreading it out. And also, what these two both claim is that it won't absorb your foundation, like like a lot of it. So, and it does give me a airbrush effect. Um, I did stop using this only because there were other tools out there. I actually used my Clarisonic uh, to apply my foundations. And I loved how that looked on me. It looked gorgeous. Like, oh. Okay, so this is a side. I'm pretty sure you can see that line of demarcation there. So this side is the Juno & Co. It looks flawless. It looks airbrushed. So that is what it looks like. And it definitely didn't absorb any of the foundation. Um, and I am using Sheer Glow. So it's not a full coverage foundation, but it looks extremely nice if you ever used it before. So that is... That's the line right there. It looks really, really good. So now I'm going to give one more pump. Just so there's a little bit more on here. And I'm going to go in with the super sponge. Now, great thing about the super sponge is that you can always use the bottom to kind of touch up and take away things. And that's what everyone loved about the beauty blender. Um, unfortunately, with the Juno & Co, I can't do that because since this is a product that doesn't soak up any product at all, like there's nowhere for you to soak up the product. You could probably use a different side of it just to make it a little bit more airbrushed, but it still won't pick up the product compared to the bottom here of the super sponge. So that's what I really liked about this one as well. Um, it depends on your preference, of course. Now, with the super sponge, So it's, it's spreading it out. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. A little does go a long way up to the temple. But I do love the fact that I can actually go into the crevices of my nose, no problem compared to the Juno Enco. So on camera, it looks like they're both flawless. However, Looking at the mirror right now, I feel like the Juno & Co looks more airbrushed than the Super Sponge side. Um, but this is before we used the butt, so we're gonna see how that looks. 
it did take away a little bit, not much, but it did take away some product. So looking at this uh, on my face, I know the camera can't really pick it up right now, but this side looks a little bit more sheer than this side. This side looks like flawless, like damn. Um, this side, because of the bottom of the sponge, we took away some product and it looks more natural, in my opinion. This side looks more glam, this side looks more everyday type of look. So this is kind of uncomfortable zoom to my face right now, but I don't know if it's because of the sponges. So on the Juno & Co side, my pores look very like blurred and airbrushed. I don't know if you could tell. And then on the super sponge side, you can still see a bit of pores right there. So I think the Juno & Co side did pretty well on that. Like it blurred everything out and this is a very good primer too. So it shouldn't have any issues like over here. Um, you can see like my pores right there. But on this side, you can barely see it. It's very minimized. The camera doesn't look half bad. Um, but I, how I see it is that with the Juno & Co, it actually airbrushed a lot on this side, especially my pores, compared to the Super Sponge. Um, it's not, I'm not saying it's emphasizing it, but it's not as blurred out compared to the Juno & Co one. Um, it still looks nice, but for my preference, I would go for Juno & Co for this one right here. However, if you are the type of person where you want to take away the, some of the product, I would steer away from Juno & Co and go with the Super Sponge only because it has that option for that bottom to take away some of the product because Juno & Co doesn't have that option, unfortunately. So we're done with that part. We're going to try out the concealers now. Um, like I said, it's just an excuse for me to try out the Jeffree Star Concealer. So I got it in the color C8. It's supposed to be uh, for light, medium, olive tones. And because I did get darker, I'm more in the olive -y, more than the golden and the warm. Jeff ooh. Ooh. So Jeffree Star says a little goes a long way. Um, I don't know how little we're actually going to go with this. And holy brightness. So it looked really bright putting it on, but it is blending out really nicely. So once again, what I don't like about this sponge, like this design, um, is that it's so difficult to even get under the eyes. Like I would rather use this for my face and not under my eyes, um, unless I bought the other one, the, the new designed one. But that's not gonna be for quite some time. Like I would have to really like get in there for this. Just gonna say this, it really brightened up my face. Like, damn. This spread it out quite a bit. Actually bl blending out very well. You can see that it's very, very bright. And you can see but my pores look very airbrushed on this side. I really like that. Uh, so we're gonna go on to this side Now I always love this under my eyes only because This basically Made my concealer look so good and never made it like silent in my fine lines. I don't know why And for some reason This side is not spreading as much as I would like on the other side and then I'm gonna blend this out because I got the bottom and I can. This side on the other hand, let's see if I can on a different side of this to blend this out. So you can use the butt of this to blend it a little bit more. So I feel like this side spread out a lot more than this side. Um, I don't know if it's because the sponge actually absorbed some stuff through the silicone um, or maybe it didn't, I don't know, don't know what it is but this spread out a lot more because it went a lot more down than I would like it to be but I wouldn't do that anyways but for the purpose of this video, I did 
and I feel like this side looks more airbrushed. It looks a lot better than the super sponge side. Um, I wouldn't have never guessed because I only use one or the other, but actually seeing a side by side comparison, um, I have to say I like the Juno and Co side a lot better than the super sponge side. As to say which one won, in my opinion, it's really hard to say. Um, the Juno and Co made my face, the side of my face look very airbrushed and it actually spread the product a lot more than this side. Um, the only downside to the Juno & Co is that you can't use another side to take away the product because it doesn't absorb anything. However, the super sponge side, you can use the butt of it to take away some of the product. However, I feel that it doesn't look as airbrushed as I would like it to look. Um, but the good thing is that you can kind of mold the sponge just like the beauty blender to go under your eye better than this one can. I can't speak on the redesigned one because I have never used it. I can't say if you can do that or not. I'm pretty sure you could, but don't take my word for that one. I've only experienced this type, this type of sponge. But for my personal preference, uh, who I think wins this, I would have to go with Juno & Co. Only because I like the airbrushed look a lot more um, compared to the super sponge side. Not saying I don't like that side at all, I still do, but if I have to compare the two right now side by side, I would go with the Juno & Co. But I would use the super sponge to kind of help this out a little bit, only because once again, I can't ex I can't stress this enough. It's only the design of the sponge that I got, and this was years ago. So that is today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope this helps you out just to figure out which sponge you would go for. Um, they both do what they claim they're supposed to do: use less product, and it will spread out, which they definitely did. But I just prefer the Juno and Co. A lot more than the super sponge right now but i will still use the super sponge um to help it out a little bit because like i said i ain't gonna buy another sponge anytime soon because i have another sponge here so i might as well use both of them and I also have a mini beauty blender I have, I have a lot of sponges going around on this table yeah so i might as well just use all of them uh and not just and not just buy something willy nilly but i'm definitely gonna buy another sponge from juno and co whenever the time comes uh, don't know when that's gonna be, but I'm definitely gonna buy the new redesigned one. And I saw the pink one, I'm like, oh god. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, this would help me very, very much. And don't forget to ring that bell notification, I'm pretty sure it would be on this side. If not, then the other side, but I'm pretty sure it's on this side. And don't forget to follow me on my social media handles right there. It's right there. I haven't lost my touch. And yeah, so I hope to see you guys soon. I will try and make more videos as much as I can, hopefully with my busy schedule. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night, morning, day, whatever time you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!